Hi, this is Fred's Lab. Fred's Lab is a one-person adventure to bring musicians more creative and inspiring instruments to compose and play their own music. This is my workshop. This is where, every day, I come to engineer prototypes and assemble new machines. Sound design, audio algorithm development and sound checks are conducted in a separate room where my home studio is. Designing electronic devices, music instruments and audio gear has been my full-time job for more than five years. During that time, I had the opportunity to participate in the making of several successful machines for major music brands. Along the way, meeting great and passionate people, I learned so much on what makes a good music instrument. But I was not always satisfied and I think now I can go further by designing even more creative, more inspiring and overall more practical instruments, especially for live usage. Instruments that I would love to play myself. So I decided it was about time to work on my own project. I created the Fred's Lab company and I started to work very hard to get prototypes up and running with a limited budget. Buzzy is the first produce of my efforts. Now I'm counting on your support to afford going in production and make out of this prototype an instrument that you can actually own and enjoy to play. This is Buzzy. It's a 16 voice, 4 part, multi timbral digital sound module. What makes it stand out? First of all, the module is very compact. The case is made of coated MTF wood, the panel of aluminium, and it has very stable rubber feet. The machine takes power and MIDI data from USB, and it can also connect with a regular MIDI cable. The two 6.35mm jack connectors make the stereo line output. In addition, a 3.5mm jack connector allows direct use of headphones. This machine is very easy to operate and gives quick pleasing results. It provides a wide range of sounds thanks to its multiple engines and effects. There are four potentiometers controlling eight sound parameters and, on later design revisions, no hidden functions. You can select the part you are editing with the part switch. Then adjust the tone using the wave potentiometer. Decide the length of the sound using the decay potentiometer. Adjust the level, add some effects, and you are set. A fast arpeggiator, available on each part, can also be enabled to generate crazy note sequences. The different engines are Pulse, FM with two operators, Wave and Noise. They allow the synthesis of very different tones. If you want to hear more sounds from the machine, be sure to check out the other videos and sound examples available. 
So what's the current state of the project? The electronic design phase has been 100% completed. I made two revisions of the schematics and two revisions of the PCBs. This brought us two complete prototypes. Concerning the electronics, there is still one last step to be done. Performing the HF measurements required to prove that the device complies with electronic regulations. The wood case design is final. The front panel is currently being redesigned by an artist and new versions will be shown during the campaign. The sound engine is 100% ready. There are minor tweaks to be done on the software side, mainly to get the best user experience. Let's talk about project management. I have quotes and schedule plans from all the companies that will be involved in the production of the Buzzy. These companies are located in Germany and I know exactly how they work and how much the production will cost. For the last critical steps, which are product assembly, testing and shipment, this will be done here in my office. I have made all the financial calculations and more than once to offer you the best possible price for this machine while limiting the funding goal to a reasonable amount. And in conclusion, I need to manufacture at least 100 units. With this budget, I can produce 100 machines, repay the prototypes and development expenses, remunerate correctly all the subcontractors, pay all the required taxes and administration fees, and partially cover the initial investment. Be sure that all the extra funding will be invested on future great projects. This leads us to a challenging goal of 24,000 euros, which is approximately $27,000 right now. I think you know it all, and there are just 30 days to complete this campaign funding. So, if you like the Buzzy and you want to support the work of an independent creator, please back this project. Another action you can do, and this really helps, is spread the word. For this, you will find plenty of material on this very same page. So, don't hesitate to talk about the Buzzy on social media, forums, and to your musician friends. I will release soon new videos to cover more aspects of this instrument, so please comment on what you would like to hear and what you would like to see. That's all, thank you very much for having watched this video and I will stay available to answer all of your questions. Now I will cross my fingers and I must say I really count on your support. Thank you in advance and I wish you all a great day.